Community Plates is focused on ending American food insecurity through direct transfer food rescue. So hunger is actually a really big problem in the United States. Not everybody knows that, but there are more than 50 million Americans that are not able to supply the amount of food and the quality of food that's necessary for healthy living. Here in Fairfield County, that's about 100,000 people. Um, and so simultaneously, we throw away, Americans throw away about 25 to 40 percent of the food that's available to us. And so Community Plates uh, from the beginning has just been about connecting those dots, making those things come together. Um, we transfer food directly from restaurants, bakers, caterers, farmers, farmers markets, grocers. We transfer it directly to receiving agencies who serve the food insecure uh, population. So we've been doing this for about a year and a half ago. Uh, for about a year and a half and we've so far rescued over a million pounds of food, roughly somewhere between 800 to 900,000 uh, meals that we've been able to rescue and get to families um, either through soup kitchens or food pantries um, so that they can get fed. It's, it's important because we've been noticing recently in study after study, and I think it just makes sense to us that if you're hungry, you really can't focus on anything else. Hunger is one of those things that comes first. You can't worry about getting a job. You can't worry even about housing. You can't worry about uh, friendship or anything that's really important to us as humans if we can't take care of those most basic of because of the technology, I can also rescue a hundred million pounds of food with a small staff and a billion pounds of food with a small staff. The idea is, is uh, that we can keep growing, we can keep expanding and keeping the overhead extremely low. I think people want to know when they give $10, when they give $100 to an agency and we say we're going to feed hungry people, people want to know, listen, uh, the majority of these funds, 97, 98, 99 of those dollars are going to feeding hungry people. They don't want to support some Lord, large organization and vehicles and buildings. They want to know hungry people are getting fed. With the creative consulting as well as the expansion planning for community plates. So um, looking into new areas, figuring out the best way to go into those new areas and to make sure that we go in intentionally and deliberately to make sure we're set up for success. Three streams. We have our food donors where we rescue the food. This is food that otherwise would have ended up in the garbage. It would have ended up in a landfill. That's the first stream. The second stream is our food runners. These are the volunteers that use their time. They use their vehicles to trans their f transfer the food directly to. And the third part of the stream is our receiving agencies. These are soup kitchens. These are food pantries. Here in Fairfield County, uh, we have Christian Community Action. We have uh, the Thomas Merton Center in Bridgeport. Uh, we have uh, New Covenant House in Stanford, Pacific Homeless Shelter, Men's Homeless Shelter in Stanford. All in all, we, we uh, serve about 17 different agencies in Fairfield County. The technology is what allows us to be sustainable. First of all, that's important because if we, if we don't have to raise millions and millions of dollars just to keep our operations running, we're able to stay sustainable. But it also allows us to be scalable. Uh, the technology allows us to, to launch in a large city like Chicago, Illinois, which I'm sure we'll be launching in within the next couple years. But also we can launch in the smallest of towns because all you need in order to be able to use the Community Plates app is just an internet connection. If you can get an internet connection somewhere, even if you go to your local library and log on to the web, then you're able to launch in that city. So we can serve a, a large city, but we can serve a small town here in Connecticut. We can serve a small town in Tennessee, a small town in California uh, equally well. As long as you have people that are willing to use their time, use their vehicles to transfer the food, we can set up operations in any of those areas.